हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड इवनिंग दिस इज लोकेश सेन एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल वंस अगेन इन दिस चैनल एंड दिस इज गुड न्यूज टुडे दैट द वन प्लस थ्री इज नाउ ऑन द एंड्रॉयड सेवन सो आई एम शोइंग यू द नोटिफिकेशन फॉर दैट वन दिस इज हियर इन द वन प्लस कम्युनिटी एंड हियर दिस इज द नोटिफिकेशन वी हैव that the nougat has arrived for the one plus three so what are the changes we have in it this is the notification and at this time uh, this is not the ota but also the uh, it, it is the part of the beta program and this is known as the open beta 8 built on the android nougat and now this is available for the one plus three so what are the changes here uh, in this one first of all this is the android 7 then this is the, this has the new notification design the new settings menu design the multi window view the notification direct reply and the custom replies uh, dpi support so anyone who wants to download this firmware then they may visit this link this is the oxygen os open beta 8 and this has the size 1.31 gb and after that they can manually flash it through the stock recovery and nothing is to do and after that your one plus three will become the android 7 so this is not stable right now but uh, after a few procedures now this will become the stable <laughs> step by step so uh, let's discuss here that what we have here first of all uh, i'm showing you here that what we have this is the about phone and you look here that in this one first of all now the version of the oxygen os has changed to the 4.0 and you see this is the android version 7 so if we look at this one this is the android n at this time we have and the android security patch level is of the first december so this is the latest one so this is the android n at this time in the one plus three now what are the changes we have let's start discussing them one by one first of all this is the new notification design so if you slide the status bar then you see here this is quite different this is the new notification bar at this time then the new settings design they have if you go into the settings the everything is mentioned here that what about the Wi-Fi what about the Bluetooth then everything is here what about the display how much sound you have at this time uh, what about the notifications everything is mentioned here even about the battery and everything is here so this is the change in the settings design then after that we have the multi window view so I am showing you that what is here in the multi window view so let's open here the YouTube and as well as uh, one more app so suppose I want to keep here the YouTube so you you see here at the top that drag here to use split screen is written so you keep this YouTube here now this is the one window you have and if I want to keep the Chrome as the second window then this is the second window so now these are the two windows we have right now so this is the absolutely new design at this time so this is now the multi window option we have so this is very very good and if you want to keep it then you uh, may bring it here okay so this is the uh, multi window view after that this is the notification direct reply so here I have some notifications like uh, from the Gmail I have here 
so this is the option i have i may reply here directly to this one so this is the one more option in the notification uh, here so this is again the good one then after this this is the custom dpi settings so this is in the developer options basically so if you go here in the developer options then the dose mode is now in the developer options then here uh, and I'm yeah I'm considering this is the yeah I think this is the custom display settings at this time this is for the secondary display so if you want to connect this phone with some LEDs or with them or for the with the computer then these are the display settings for the uh, another device which you want to connect this one after this you have the custom uh, this is the status bar icon option so it is here uh, it is mentioned here this is the status bar and at this time whatever options you want to keep here these are here like uh, I don't want to show here the battery percentage then this battery percentage has gone and if I do not want to keep here the work profile or hotspot do not disturb then it is your choice that what do you want what do you want here or what you do not want so like I am showing here the battery is hidden so it is my choice to whether I keep it the circle or the battery bar or the battery hidden so this is another option we have at this time so this is really very good and basically I am checking here for the battery backup so definitely after one day uh, the thing will come out one more thing is here that uh, few things has gone like in the settings you see now we do not have the option to switch the sim that has gone like uh, if I want to switch the sim at this time from Geo 4G to Airtel then I'll have to do one thing this is the sim 1 to sim 2 now as the sim 2 uh, I activate after this I'll see here that now the data from the sim 2 will start so let's do it again in the same way yes and this is here now as the data is off you start the data and at this time you see the second sim data has been started so <coughs> again my choice is the first sim so I'm keeping it here this one first of all I'll keep this no it's okay so one more thing we have here this is in the display and in display uh, look here this is the display size so in this display size we may change here the size of the icons and the fonts so like uh, if I wish to change here the size of icons suppose I reduce it now look here the size the uh, icons are here in the in this format look so uh, this is being changed in the desktop uh, I'll change it again because default is quite better at this time so this is the default so this is only for the display size for the screen larger or smaller so this is one more option and this was not uh, previously so thank you very much for watching this video and if you like my video then encourage me and subscribe.
थैंक यू वेरी मच वॉन्स अगेन